May the 26th for no-till plant sesame seed. Awesome. Extremely wet dirt. Plant right back on our old soybean stubble road. It's doing a fantastic job. Yeah. Extremely heavy res residue. Martin Tail Road Cleaners are just having their way with them. You can see here. Just chewing right through it. We can see. Even a real good strip. Right back on our old floor. Big silver. Got an RTK. And uh, doing a fantastic job. First year ever planting sesame seeds so it's been a little bit of a learning experience but we got it doing a fantastic job we planted 80 acres today so far and uh, it's been doing that good luck today and uh, the Martin Teals are really really earning their keep right here this is fantastic what, what kind of job we got going on right now Put about 60,000 plants in that row. That don't sound right. It's tiny seed. We're planting ours with uh, Milo plates and put some knockers in our hoppers to knock the sesame seed out of the Milo plate. It's not hard. Just one torch screw and that's it. Uh, take your old ring and pinion out and it just falls right in there. And it, simple, worth its weight in gold. Put the knockers in there and our Milo plates, they work all right. They really need a, you really need a sesame seed plate, but they do not make one. Because what it'll do is it'll come up in to your vacuum and the seed get all in your vacuum tubes and your vacuum will get messed up but we're running about three three and a half inches of water on our vacuum really it's really starting to creep up there at about four you want to keep it about around three maybe three and a half but running a lot of down pressure this dirt's so wet uh, running about uh, it looks about like 80 pounds on it uh, had to run 90 in other field it's just this type of old black dirt like it is. It's just really hard. It just has water on it most of the time. But uh, we're going to find out we got dual diuron out about two and a half weeks ago and put Roundup and some sulfate with it. Got everything good and killed. And uh, we're going to come back with another application of Roundup. As you can see, there's some little bitty coffee weeds got in their head up. And uh, we're going to lay them out because the only, only chemical we have over the top is fusillade. And that's the only herbicide. So that's the only drawback to this. But uh, I believe we'll have it good and clean after this last application of Roundup.